everybody, David Burns here. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube beekeeping channel. And I want to encourage you to subscribe and follow us because we have a lot of great stuff on beekeeping here on YouTube. Today I want to talk about a few things. Mainly I want to help you discover how you catch a swarm. Some of you are brand new beekeepers and you may not know that your hives are going to swarm this year. And uh, certainly if you've overwintered a colony, uh, they're going to have a reproductive swarm any day now. It's going to happen. Red alert. It may happen when you're at school or, or when you're at work, when you're away. And uh, that's when about half of your colony is going to leave with the old queen. And they're going to raise a new queen left behind. And, and they're going to be smaller in number. You may not tell it if you look at it. If you look inside, but they're going to be smaller. And so if you happen to be at home, and you are, and you notice there's this big clump of bees hanging from a tree or a bush or the side of your house or something, then I want to give you the technique today to capture that swarm and save you 100, 150 bucks worth of bees that you can get, you can save them, put them in a hive, and voila, you've got another hive. You haven't lost them. So this is going to be cool. Stay with me, and I'll give you some... Five, six, seven things that you can do to capture a swarm to do it the right way. It's going to happen. It's that time of the year. It's a reproductive swarm. That's how bees reproduce and make another colony. They swarm. All right, let's get started. So I talk with hundreds of beekeepers uh, every year. And of course, uh, many of those beekeepers are newbies, brand new to beekeeping. And what I am always shocked to find and to learn is that many of them, most of them, have never dealt with a swarm before. Well, if you're a beekeeper and you're in your second year of beekeeping, you're going to have to deal with a swarm more than likely because every strong colony that overwinters is likely to have a reproductive swarm. And that means that they simply want to make another colony. And uh, it's likely that some of you have never captured a swarm when it's out there, one of your hives swarmed and it's out there hanging on a tree. I want to show you today, uh, let's walk through it and I'll show you what you're supposed to do. So as you can see here in my apple tree, big swarm has landed. And what I like to do when I approach a swarm like this is to really scour the uh, surface of that swarm. But what I'm looking for now is the queen. And I've, I've learned that on a swarm like this, the queen is always cycling in and out of that big swarm. And so here you can see me looking carefully for the queen. I'm watching for her. She's coming in. She's going out. And I'm going to reach in. I see her, pick her up by her back wings, and I have her. And so at this point, uh, I'm just going to take my queen cage and I'm going to uh, just let her walk in the little hole and then I've got her captured. Now, when I capture the queen, I have the swarm. They're not going to leave without her. And so now I just kind of put the queen in my pocket for a while. Um, eventually, I'm going to put this queen in this um, deep hive box here that you see. If you want to, you can remove a few frames uh, to allow space for the bees to fall into. But you position it under the tree exactly where you think that when you shake this branch, all the bees are going to fall into and as you can see here, uh, the bees are pretty quiet. There's some uh, little bit of bees flying around, but you'll just grab a few branches like I'm doing here. And I've already got the queen cage in there. And just give it a real hard jerk. And it forces all the bees to uh, be shaken off this branch. And as you can see, they all just fall in nicely. Now, some uh, didn't fall in, some missed and fell in the grass, and we'll just but they'll what all here. manage they'll to work down. their way wow, into this that column. Is. This was an empty deep hive box, and um, it looks like that they're not going in, but they are. They're going down in between each of those comb. Now, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Um, it, it's going to be helpful if I can uh, get a top cover on that and uh, kind of let the bees want to go in something dark. They seem to like that better. And, um, but what happens sometimes also is that if you don't shake it hard enough, it's likely that the uh, pheromones up in the tree up there uh, are so strong that some of the bees will fly back up and make a small ball of bees, another small swarm up there, um, especially if the queen didn't fall off. Now you can see here I put the top cover 
uh, not all the way on, but far enough on where it's uh, kind of darkened the deep high body shade. And now it's allowing these bees that are out on the ground to make their way up. And you can see, if you look closely, you can see a lot of drones, but you can see some of these uh, bees marching in. They're marching in and upward to get under that uh, top cover. And uh, so we'll just leave that like this for an hour. I think, um, I think it was about an hour. Now let's come back an hour later. Now look how nice it is now. Okay, here we are an hour later, and as you can see, the bees are very uh, quiet. They're all kind of work their way in uh, to this deep high body nicely. Now you can see a little board on the side where I've stapled or nailed the bottom board to this deep high body. By doing that, it becomes a swarm capture box for me. I don't have to try to get the bottom board to follow along, you know. I just have one piece, uh, bottom board deep, and then I use the top. So uh, what we need to do now is lift this carefully because we need to let the uh, do do something with the queen in her cage. Be careful. There's going to be a lot of bees on the bottom of that top cover. Don't just um, accidentally lose them in the grass or something. If you handle them slowly, they'll stay on that top cover. And uh, so uh, the best thing to do, and, and, and then what I did here was uh, simply release the queen and let her go. I got a little uh, block a uh, little stick or something holding her in there and I'm just going to take that off and that way she can walk freely among her swarm. Now um, the bees, this is a pretty good sized swarm and I'll, I'll say this, many of you may be frightened about swarms. You think, oh, that's a lot of bees, but as you can, you can tell they're really calm. They're, they're not too bad. And uh, you can always work bees kind of nicely when you catch them in a swarm. Not that you won't get stung, you know, it's, if you press on a bee or something, uh, especially when you're picking up the box. Now, uh, these beekeepers are actually picking up the box and moving it to a location where it will become permanent. So think about that. You don't, If you leave that box there too many days, like a week or two, the foragers are going to get the idea that's where their permanent home is. So we didn't leave it under that apple tree very long at all, long enough for all the bees to settle. And then we pick it up and we've got a place picked out to drop this swarm in this hive um, and just uh, place it on this hive stand. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you watching our channel on beekeeping. Uh, we were one of the first beekeeping channels. We've been here a long time. I'm a certified master beekeeper. I'm here to help you, give you some good information. It's gonna help us a lot if you subscribe in the corner below. We love to see more subscribers. I never thought we would be pushing nearly 18,000 subscribers. That's super. And also visit our website. We'd love to have you check out our equipment that we have available, uh, packages of bees, nooks for sale. We have classes that we offer in beekeeping. We're located in central Illinois. And uh, of course we ship all around the country. We would love for you to support a small family business in beekeeping is the only thing we do. We'd love for you to be a part of our uh, partnership in beekeeping. So please check out our website here at honeybeesonline.com. And we'll see you next time with another video. Take care.